What's going on, y'all? It's Flight Sports TV, man. You know, I'm sit I was sitting here just eating, eating something, you know. I got some Alfredo noodles and spinach and chicken in here, man. You know, I'm sitting here eating, you know, just thinking. You know, before I get into my thoughts, I want everybody to hit that like button. Most definitely hit that subscribe button. I can't say that enough. You know, um, I appreciate all my new subscribers. Um, you feel me? Um, I'm going to be shouting y'all out. Um, I got a couple, so I wrote it down. But I don't got the paper on me, so we're, we're all in there because it's not just one person. I I, I just got an influx of subscribers. So I'm going to be shouting y'all out. All my subscribers, hit me up. Let me know if y'all got a business. Let me know if y'all got a product. Let me know what I, could, what I could support, what I could promote for you. Get me while I'm free. You better get it while I'm free. I'm free right now. You feel me? Next month, I might be a shit. You feel me? <laughs> so before we... Before we get into it again, man, I want y'all to support the new Flight Sports exclusive. Underrated is an understatement. We're going to get into today's topic, man. We're going to get into a, a Luka Doncic and Rick Carlisle. I, I'm going to tell you my thoughts why I feel like Rick Carlisle is running Luka Doncic to the ground. And it's very alarming. And Mavs fans and, and people better be concerned. Because once you, once you lose Luka... You gotta have to rely on Chris Snacks, and remember, he all he do is get the milk and cookies for Luka Doncic. Okay, he's not a, he's not a unicorn. He's just corn on the cob with the butter on the side. You understand? And maybe some seasoning salt to get it right. Pause. Okay, so I'm just letting y'all know. Um, we keep close attention on that before we finish. Before we get in, before we follow up on this, I want y'all to support the merchandise store at pexoticshop.com. It's chilly out here. We got the bombers on right now. The website is under renovation, okay? So the sweatsuits just came in. My photographer got to take the pictures so we could put it on the website. You feel me? So it's just a little technicalities that is coming. You know, um, support the bombers. I appreciate everybody rocking with, with the whole stream. Like I said, I can't say it enough. All donations are appreciated, even if it's a dollar. You understand? Um... Let's get these subscribers up. Let's get the 40, 40 subscribers tonight. Come on, we can do that. Let's light. Let's light work. Um, so, back back to what I was saying. Luka Doncic, man, you know, they got this guy playing a, a shitload of minutes. You know, I know last night he was able to rest a little bit in the fourth, but he's been running him to the ground a lot as I've been evaluating you know, especially a guy who's not not the most athletic, you know, not you know, so you don't want to want to be pushing up on him with the minutes like that, you know, because Lord knows what could happen, especially in this era of low management. A lot of coaches and some star players seem to be against low management, but it has a lot of gifts and perks with it. Mostly a lot of gifts. You feel me? So you gotta you gotta rest, especially him being at this young age. You don't want Rick Carlisle, because he got a point to prove, too. Remember, Rick Carlisle ain't did nothing since they won the championship. They got to the playoffs one time since they – and it was against Oklahoma City, and they only won one game in the playoffs that year. They haven't done nothing since they won that championship. And the only reason why they got that championship is because LeBron James wasn't ready yet. If LeBron was, was like, put his foot on the gas, he would have stomped them dudes like cockroaches. The same way it's going to happen to these guys. They're going to get stomped on like cockroaches. You think just because they beat the Lakers in the regular season, they, they could they could put up a fight against them in the playoffs? You don't believe that, do you? You don't believe that. You don't really believe that, do you? No, I mean, you don't believe that. Luka Doncic is not. <laughs> you think he could spar with the Stars? You don't believe that. You don't really believe that, though. You don't believe that. Luka Doncic is a good player, man, but he ain't up there with the great ones, man. Like I said, man, I ain't got to keep reiterating myself, okay? You're going to get stomped. They're going to get swept in the playoffs in the first round of the playoffs. I don't give a damn what they're doing right now. They might not even make the playoffs. He, San Antonio just won a double overtime last night. Everything I'm saying is coming to pass. You know what I'm saying? The Blazers is a lock. They're they making the playoffs, okay? San Antonio is a lock. So 
who are these teams that's in the playoffs right now that's coming out? Because you got two teams that's out of the playoffs right now that's going to make it. So that means two of these other teams are out. And I'm looking at Minnesota. I'm looking at um, Dallas as two prime teams. That's on the way up out of there. You understand? They got no business up in there. The problem is, you know, they, they're relying too much on Mr. Doncic, you know. You know, and I, and, I, and I feel like, especially with Chris Snacks playing the way he is right now, like like trash, you know, where he's not really. And like I said, don't get me with that. He need a year. Another, Chris Snacks, Porzingis did not tear his ACL last year. Okay, that happened. Porzingis has been out damn near over two years. Stop using that, the, Stop using these excuses for these for, the, for for Mr. Snacks. I'm talking about the one who get the milk and cookies for for Luka Doncic on the late night. Okay, Chris Snacks. It's a joke. I can't believe this dude. <laughs> Anybody that like these fools, man. Also, I know y'all gonna dislike my videos. It's all gone. The truth hurts. And when I see so many dislikes, I know I'm telling the truth. You know? I got more topics. Like I said, I'm, I'm dropping a lot more. This is, I'm just bringing awareness to this, you know? I'm not saying he's trash. He's not trash. I've said this before. I felt like I got to keep stating my position every time. My position on Luka Doncic is he's a great young player. I don't hate on Luka Doncic. I'm just here to bring awareness to you that is levels to this. And he's not a top five player. He's not a top 10 player. He's not a top 15 player. He's arguably a top 20. Definitely top 25 to 30, but it's arguably top 20, okay? These guys have a Jeremy Lin week, and now they top five players. Like, dog, it's not. They did the same thing like this for, for, for Jeremy Lin, you know? He was lighting it up, and don't, don't try to discredit Jeremy Lin. He beat the Lakers, you know, I'm talking about with Kobe. You know, not with LeBron, with LeBron in passive Lonzo ball mode, trying to give the ball up and then all that BS and all that. You know, I'm talking about Kobe was going for the juggler vein. You feel me? And, and um, Jeremy Lin looked Kobe in his eyes and took his ass out in the garden, okay? Do your homework. These guys don't really... These dudes don't really, these dudes be frauds, man. These dudes be, be, be propped up to be propped down. Playoff time. That's, that's going to be one of my, that's my next video I'm going to have coming. I'm, I'm, I'm going to evaluate the playoff teams. Like, you look at a Denver, you look at some of these other teams. I'm trying to think who would be a, a decent chance. It's some teams that Dallas want to just stay clear from. Because they, the way Rick Carlisle was coaching this team, which is pretty much give the ball to Luka Doncic and everybody else is pretty much doing a little bit to nothing. Um, shout out to Tim Hardaway Jr. He's the only one playing with a pulse over there. You know, uh, Luka Doncic is playing good. Like I said, just he's just not a he's not a he's not up there with the upper echelons yet. That's all. That's all I got to say. He's not an upper echelon player. Okay, I know it hurts feelings. I know the panties get up in the knot when I say that, but. It lets me know I'm telling the truth. You feel me? Shout out to Carmelo Anthony. New York Knicks, man. We in the building. Now, before y'all try to, like, shortchange Melo, did you see Carmelo Anthony with that fall that he took yet last night? He fell back first. Pause. Like, look that up on the tube. Since for y'all dudes that don't watch basketball, y'all just watch highlights. I know y'all ain't messed up. Melo went back first. Went over. Went, went right at Montrez Harrell like a G. Back and went hit the back. Not I ain't talking about a low cover up. He hit, he went back first and got up like a G. So from from that moment on, obviously the lift is gonna be compromised. You feel me? For y'all fools that don't know shit about basketball, y'all you feel me? When your back is is messed up, that that's a that, that's a very tough injury. You know. So I'm just here to bring 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 the facts to the table with y'all, man. Y'all hit that like button. Y'all most definitely hit that subscribe button. Donate to this channel, man. All donations are much appreciated, man.